Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger. With me, Get Daved. We've explored everywhere in the future. Except one critical place. An important factory for machines. And we're going to take our boy Robo there. And we'll be very hungry. Let hunger reign supreme. Alright, we're there. I apologize for that, it wasn't funny and I shouldn't have done it. Okay, what can we do? I'm okay with this party, I think. There you go. 45 defense power. Disgusting pants that reek of Aussie. Uh, red plate should be fine, but we can do better than the speed belt. There we go. We'll downgrade Marl, though. She's pretty good. Come on. There we are. All right. It's as hasty as this group's going to get. And you can get stuck in this place for a while, so... Welcome to the Geno Dome. Sounds a bit like Genome, or the Genesis Dome. Okay. Who is speaking to us? Our buddy Prometheus and the Fleshlings. It's probably safe. Don't worry, we're just being tested. You know, nice, respectful battles to the death. We get to run a gauntlet fighting machines. It's, you know, a decent place to level up, so keep that in mind. Not impressed with the effect lightning had there. We might need to kick it up a notch. <laughs> with barrier. Whoops. Magus is also in the process of learning black hole. It's, um, worthless. You know, I just want that on the record. Robo's got his last tech. Excelsior! This is kind of a puzzle-like area. So, bring your A-game, YouTube. I thought there was one more after this. I think we get jumped by six. Which is the largest group of enemies you will ever fight in this game. There we go. Okay, I think this is the last one. Again, if you have Magus, it's not too bad. Or, you know, you could bring Luca and just have her spam Flare if she has it. I guess Robo could use Electrocute as well. Pretty good experience for just one encounter. There we are. Be looking forward to greeting me. That's nice. Since this is the group we have, I'm just gonna put this. Where is it? It's black gemstone on Magus for a little bit. Wait. And by black gemstone, I mean blue gemstone. There we go. Omega flare. Don't worry about that. Okay. The first priority is going to be pretty much clearing the place out. You know what, let's just have some fun. B 
boom. It's a tad on the expensive side, but you know, we had a good fun with it. Okay, we should help. Okay, okay. Good day. I said good day. Unfortunately, spamming such abilities is a little excessive, so we won't be doing that anymore. We've had our fun. Everybody, commence eating Brussels sprouts. And enjoy the experience points. Mm, we're good. Ayla doesn't have her last tech, as I've alluded to several times, but when we do the Black Omen, which is sort of the last area in this game, she'll uh, <laughs> she'll get many opportunities. Yay, a high potion. Everybody likes a high potion. Okay. Doors. Noted. Energize first in the pod, and then... Okay, so we gotta run from point A to point B. In a fixed amount of time. Okay. Two sentinels to face one another. Okay. I wonder what that comment about the room upstairs meant, but anyway. Okay, we want to meet this mother brain, because I like Super Metroid well enough. Alright, Robo's got electrical powers, fantastic superpowers. Fifty thousand G's, buddy! Good job to all those brosifs out there. This is the escape shaft. We won't be using it. This party's over. Yeah, some of the suspense is taken out of these encounters, knowing Mahegas can one-shot all of them. I mean, to be fair, a lot of people could one-shot them, but uh, he's a good option. I'm not convinced I wanted to do this quite yet. Oh. The planet could reach equilibrium without humanity. Okay, those little things are laser defenders. We're just gonna wipe them out quickly, and no one's gonna worry about anything. They're also quite lucrative to destroy, and it's pretty easy to do. Where are we going? Okay, we reversed the direction of that. It's all well and good. I'll just use normal attacks, because these guys are pretty easy to take out. Nice. Not too shabby. Okay. We have to take a laser charge to this door somehow. Eh, cardio! Ugh. We're gonna have a little bit of a hike ahead of us. Not sure if it can be done. Have we gone back here? Okay, let's do a little exploring here first. Don't worry, we've got a couple exploration paths open, but we'll we'll get that number down. I generally don't like to have like three or four different areas I'm keeping track of at once, especially during a Let's Play. Ugh. Takes everything I got just to keep talking. 
Boom. Found the right combo. Special thanks to Final Fantasy VI for uh, teaching it to me. Okay, we have a Piozo doll. That's fantastic news. We need to get one more. Okay, this sprint can be a little tricky, but now that we have the conveyor belt working in our favor... There we go. With a second to spare. Hey, you guys! Okay, getting this guy to follow you can be tricky business. It's kind of like the cat from the Millennial Fair, if you remember it. He kind of gets stuck, so gets stuck on corners and that sort of thing, so you want to just mitigate that and give him really favorable angles. And this is a sentinel robot, so we're going to take him and put him in front of the other sentinel. And that should cause them to both short circuit. There we go. A vigilance hat. A vigilante's hat. He's got status immunity. She has status immunity. Everybody's got status immunity except Frog. No, he's got it too. Have I? Except Ayla. She's only immune to Locke. It's okay, we'll take care of her. If you catch my meaning. Explored this entire area now. Yeah, we've got the dolls. I think we're good to go. You need the dolls for this floor we're on right now. Might as well save. Can be hard to get out of here. I find this kind of a depressing area. Alright, everybody, take your bets on Luca's uh, damage. I'm gonna say a point for every damage she does. Enjoy it. 914 free GDP. Oh! It's a pink R66 unit. Atropos. Don't worry. Named after the fate that cuts the thread of life. It determines when you die. Well, she. Wipeout intruders? Oh. Well, success. Hey, there's nothing wrong with studying us as a species. And go see mother. Yay! Donk. I have new programming. Yay! I love Mother. <laughs> All right, kick her butt, Robo. I've never under understood the I need to kill them for my own demons. It's a life and death flight. fight. Head your bets. Self actualize later. Okay, I kind of forget if there's a, a timer or if we have to do a certain amount of damage, but it's a chance to show off his super ability. It's the weakest one. Generally speaking, you want a good balance of damage, you know, and all that. Uh, Robo Tackle. It stays good for kind of the whole game. Oh yeah, she's a lot faster than Robo. See? So cheap, almost as good. It's also one of her better moves.
Okay, we should be able to come out on top. I've never lost this fight, but uh, I've also never really known how you win. I don't think it's raw damage. That's her boozy punch or rapid fire fist, if you will. Here comes Area Bomb. Yeah, no big. Alright, I'm gonna assume that we need to do damage now. But it always seems to follow a regular cycle. Either way, she doesn't stand a prayer. If that's her go-to move. Doesn't have a prayer, doesn't stand a chance. A proverbial snowball in hell. Okay, Robo is now healed up to full life, thanks to your efforts. Well met. Boom. And that's the one you gotta watch out for, by the way. It's physical damage. Oh, nothing. What is this, mother? Uh-oh. There you go. His great weakness now offset. children. If you're still made out of metal, you're probably not more advanced than humanity. Ooh. That broke the mood. Alright. Well, Robo destroyed his only, you know, equal in the world. But hey, Hard to argue with speed, am I right? Anytime you see people on a conveyor belt, you know something really bad's going on. Alright, destroy the mainframe, got it. Let's watch this in action one more time, shall we? Well, I think we'll be back, unfortunately. So, let's shut that down, shall we? Not a fan of uh, how it operates. I think with their scream effect, it's actually quite horrifying. <laughs> oh, get ready for this. Those are all shadow element. Oh yeah, and sometimes they blow up each other. That's trouble. I think they might have some sort of self-destruct thing as well. Just be careful. That's it. Check out, let's tech out how our tech is going, shall we? 96, we might be able to get there before we fight the mother brain. 
Well, here's a third of what we need already. Maybe not. All right. Put those figurines there. We can now access the mother mother brain mainframe. Insane in the membrane. You can steal a black plate from the mother brain. Kind of on the fence as to whether or not I'm going to do that. I mean, I kind of would... Yeah, you know what? Story first. Or we could swap out Magus. Okay, here's what we'll do. Bring in a cave woman to fight this advanced artificial intelligence. And we'll just make sure Robo's got enough MP to work with here. It's the mother brain. Yay! You make a strong case. Yes. But not me, I guess. And the original kind of implied that he had developed emotions. But, uh, don't worry about it. Also, my memory's a little foggy, but I want to check something. These little displays on the wall. Yeah, an elixir each. That's not too shabby. I'm not gonna, you know take anymore, but it's cool to know that it was out there. Should be okay. It was the only one who could be confused. They only have one hit point. Oh, come on. Don't make me take it out on the computer interfaces. Curious to see how Ayla takes that. Yeah, with grace. The tricky thing is sometimes it lets you know. There, oh, blue plate, pardon me. So you can keep one panel alive and try to out damage her. Or what I usually do is just take out all the healers and just engage in a battle royale. Yeah, that should be enough. <laughs> We've found our A1 attack. One of the rare situations where Robo is actually close enough to use his, uh, his steez. These attacks can get quite powerful, though, so you want to, uh, you know, take care of business quickly. Stick with Double Bomb. I'm enjoying it. There you go. She just doesn't have that many hit points. Alright. Robo's, um, two best weapons. The machines will never be reactivated. The things that make more Robos in the world. Sorry for zipping for that one dialogue really quickly, everybody. Give yourself 10 good day points if you forgive me. So we're going to go with the Terraton arm for now. Terraton. 
to rat. It's gonna do for now. Once we get Robo's um, hit points up to 999, we're gonna switch to the Crisis Scar. And the last digit, it's like sort of a trick one. The last digit of his hit points determines the attack power with nines being worth the most. So you can just try to make sure that Robo always has his maximum HP value. And then you're in Clover. All right, we're gonna go heal up. And then in the next episode, we're gonna deal with the Black Omen. Thanks for watching, everybody.